Hey, hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the person coming towards you in love. Um, if these messages do resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Aquarius in love. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Aquarius regarding love and romance. So first we're going to take a look at your, your energy. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, so you are ready. There's something beautiful headed your way. Um, some of you, this is going to feel like karmic justice because I feel like you might have been feeling stuck or stagnant. You're ready for all of that to change. All right. So you've got destiny on your side. This person coming towards you, page of pentacles in reverse. They're a little bit nervous. Now, this kind of came out in the Leo reading. So if you're attached to a Leo, um, do check that out. Or if you have Leo in your chart or you just feel called to listen to that or watch that reading. But your person, they are a little bit of in that over analysis paralysis energy. Maybe they've got Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in their chart. Wow, how this is going to make you feel. Ace of Pentacles. Like you want this Aquarius. You're ready for it. This feels real. feels tangible. And your advice, the hanged man energy. Spirit saying, go for it, Aqua. The hanged man energy in reverse tells me that you could be dealing with a Pisces. Also one of the fixed signs. So Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. This can also be Sagittarius energy. But what I'm seeing here with the hanged man, you have been feeling stagnant in your love life. And this is somebody, this, it, it, my intentions for this reading, Aqua, is that it is somebody brand new. Um, and, and that's what I'm feeling here. I think you're ready for this. I think you're, I think you're stoked about this person. So we do get the emperor energy in reverse. So some of my Aquarius, um, you know, I'm hearing some of you may need to like lighten up a little bit here. Cause I do feel like this person's a little bit nervous. Maybe they're a little bit intimidated, but more than anything, I'm getting that some of my aquas you've just gotten out of, or you've gotten out of some sort of really tough relationship or marriage with somebody who is very selfish, maybe even abusive. Okay. And that's why you're like totally ready. And you've been, you've been doing some healing work. All right. You've definitely like, I feel your energy is really strong in this reading aqua. Like you are a powerhouse. Your, you know, your energy that I'm picking up on is pretty badass for what you've been through. All right. Wheel of fortune. This is your energy. You're ready. This feels like, you know, this feel, you feel like a million bucks here. That's what I'm getting. The queen of cups energy in reverse. Yeah. So some of my aquas, I feel like this is kind of more about this past energy that I'm picking up on that you, you know, that, that you have been quite hesitant about giving anybody your love, opening up to love because of whatever that past situation was. It feels icky. It feels abusive aquas. It feels, you know, really tough. But yeah, this is what I'm getting. You're ready to let go of that. I think my aquas, you've been doing a lot of healing work and you are vibrating super at a super high level. Four of Pentacles, you're ready to let go of any of that distorted energy. You're ready to let go of the past. You are just so ready for this. I'm loving it. All right. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So your person's a little bit nervous. They could be a little bit younger, but also I just feel like the energy, the aquas who are resonating with this reading, you are just a force to be reckoned with. So they're a little bit intimidated. Yeah, look at that. But this person's gathering the strength and the courage to come towards you. It's most likely going to happen in this Leo season. They could have Leo in their chart, but this is somebody who's loyal, who's passionate, who's sexy. But you know, beneath the surface, they're a little bit nervous, all right? And we've got the King of Wands, but not that nervous, right? Because <laughs> King of Wands and the Strength card, this is going to be a very, very sexually charged connection, Aqua. This is also somebody who's ready to take, like, step up and take the lead. They might have a little bit of an overinflated ego on the surface, and behind that, they're kind of nervous. Ace of Cups, look at that. This is a new beginning, a huge blessing in love, my dear Aquas. Oh my goodness, I am loving this reading for you. All right, I feel like we haven't had like such amazing readings for you guys lately. So let's see what else we can get regarding your person, what else we need to know about them or the connection. All right, so we get sudden wealth, number 11. For a lot of you, this is a divine counterpart situation. 
This is also going to be unexpected. I think both of you are going to feel like you hit the lottery with one another. This person might like to gamble. You could meet them in a casino or something like that. So we do see marriage coming out. So it is possible that you will end up in a higher level of commitment with this person. But you also want to give it time. I'm also seeing this person possibly is, you know, is divorced. There's something about, or, you know, it could also be your energy. They may have also been through a similar situation as you. Um, I, I feel like they're not going to want to jump into, you know, marriage, but this is somebody who is committed, that Leo energy. This is somebody who's passionate. They're going to be committed. They're going to be very ride or die. But yeah, this person, hmm, interesting. This person may also have really made something of themselves if they came from nothing. So they could have kind of like a rags to riches backstory. I also feel too, your person may have lost a considerable amount of money in like in a divorce settlement or in a, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Maybe even a business venture, but I feel like you know, with the King of Wands and the Strength card, they've really built themselves back up. All right. So I don't feel like this person is necessarily, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't feel like they're down on their luck at all, actually, when you meet them and we get this energy of change. So this person might be at a distance from you. Um, this person might be very different than your usual type aquas. All right, um, they're definitely very different than whomever you were dealing with in the past. Cause I'm like not even, I don't even like want to look at that emperor energy in reverse. I'm kind of, I'm kind of over him, male or female, it doesn't matter. But I feel like you are too. Like I just get, ugh. yeah, you've let go of that, you've healed that, or you, or you know, you're just ready for this new beginning. Let's see what else we can get about this person. Strong fire, so they definitely have that Leo energy. Um, Aries or Sag energy as well. So a person with strong fire energy must learn to tame impulsivity. Yeah, I get too. Your person might have been really hurt by rushing into a connection or a marriage in the past. So I feel like they're really trying to tame that beast. So, you know, they, they don't want to make those same mistakes with you. But I, I also feel like it's going to be kind of uncontrollable, this connection where, when you two come together. So this person could be a little bit older or a little bit younger than you, Aqua. All right, and it's gonna be a very intense connection. Absolutely, that's what I feel. This fire energy, this person's emotions and thoughts run really deep. They're very intelligent. They've got a strong focus on whatever it is that they do. For a lot of them too, they may they might be business owners. Um, like I said, they've definitely, they either came from nothing or they've really rebuilt, rebuilt themselves after some difficulties. And we do get Pisces energy coming through, so they could have Pisces in their chart. Um, or this connection could really take off by the time we're in that Pisces full moon, which is Virgo season, okay? Wow, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. Like Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, that to me is like fertility. That's an energy of, you know what, this can really grow, that you guys will complement each other. How are you going to feel, Ace of Pentacles? You're going to feel like the universe has gifted you this person. All right, so we get Star Card. You feel like this is in alignment with you. This is your wish fulfillment, Aqua. I mean, this is just like such a badass message for you guys. And we get the Moon Card. So really strong Cancer and Pisces energy coming through. Um, the Moon Card tells me that you're going to be seeing things very clearly. I think you're just going to know. Aqua, for a lot of you, you're just going to know that you're ready for this, that this is the person that's meant to be on your path. Maybe you know that this is the one. I mean, these messages, my goodness, what a great day to be an Aquarius. All right. Um, the hanged man energy in reverse and the nine of pentacles. So you know what? Stay in your, in your healthy, positive vibration. The nine of pentacles tells me that this person is seeing you as somebody who's got it all. And, and I think you, you're calling in somebody who's quite magnetic and powerful themselves. Um, I, I do get with this Pisces energy, this person could be a secret admirer. It's definitely possible. Um, Let's see, but they're definitely, they're ready with that big cat energy. Somebody here may own a cat. It could be you or it could be them, and that's not going to be for all of you. But I also feel like there's such a powerful sense of loyalty and protection between the two of you, or there will be. And we get the lover's card, Gemini energy. You know, Aqua, this is an amazing reading for you. We get the Wheel of Fortune energy in reverse. So somebody here may have to close out a karmic situation or relationship. It could be you, it could be them. I think you're just ready for this. And you know, what's what's been turned upside down is gonna be put right side up with this connection. It feels so 
good Aquarius. So let's see what the messages of love have to say. It's really strong physical attraction, but it's way deeper than that. Okay. This person, it's like what I'm seeing is like you, you've been single for a while. They have, I'm seeing here that, you know, and you two come together and it just makes sense. All right. Let's see. I feel both of you, I mean, we all bring baggage to relationships, but I do feel both of you have been through something kind of heavy. Like your person might have lost a lot of money in a divorce or something, maybe even a business venture. But I feel like when you're meeting them, they, they've definitely been or are rebuilding. So this is your true love. It's emotional, physical, and unconditional. I mean, Aqua, this is like a drop the mic moment for real. All right, and we get warning, don't dismiss the red flags, all right? So again, this, you know, stay grounded, go slow, and we get awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Could be you, could be them, and this is a destined partnership. So I didn't get any red flags in this reading, Aqua, but again, that's just a reminder, you know, like this might be a very, you know, because it's such an intense and powerful connection, just move slowly, you know, just go slowly. Don't, don't lose yourself in the connection too quickly. Um, but I feel like really there's this person's offering almost everything that you've asked for and vice versa. All right. So let's see, we get guided steps to great love, follow the path of ascension. So keep, keep doing the work that you're doing, keep doing your daily practice, stay healthy, stay high vibe, continue to meditate, to pray. Don't focus too much on love um, because it's going to come in that much quicker once you do. Um, I also feel like you two, this very well could be like a, a really intense soulmate connection or maybe even a twin flame or divine counterpart situation because I do get with this energy of awakening and ascension that this is like you're bringing a, a higher vibrational love into this 3D, right? Together. So time apart. So time of separation. Possible some of you are separated from this person, but what I get more than anything is that's timing. So I did get a timing issue here that for some of you it could be um, it could be in Virgo season when you two actually get together or you meet. So it may not be necessarily in the next like, you know, two, three weeks, but it's coming. And we get holidays. Some of you, you're, you're on a break from this person. For others of you, you're going to meet this person traveling. And we get benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance. Give this person a chance. There might be some, there might be like something here that maybe you're like, mm, they're not quite my type. Again, we do see that you're you're ready for love, but there's also a big part of you that's been hurt, Aqua. So I feel like Spirit's just saying, open your heart to this connection. It's a destined partnership. And for some of you, it is coming back around. But my intentions for this for this for these readings is that it's somebody brand new. And Spirit's saying, give this person a chance. This could really be the one. All right. So I'm gonna leave it here. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or I have them listed and linked down below, along with my links to TikTok and Instagram. Also, I'm just going to ask that we keep each other safe. There are scammers on all three platforms that I use, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. They're cloning my accounts, other readers' accounts. They're reaching out, soliciting money and information. Um, just pay attention to um, the names that they're using because they'll have like the same name as me but add an underscore or a period or some sort of symbol um, and um, just report them if it seems fishy or if they're reaching out and trying to get money from you or or offering you readings and things like that just know that those are scams um, it's happening to me and many other readers so let's just keep each other safe also on YouTube there's one little little note here the the creator will have their the actual creator of the video when they're responding will have a little gray sort of highlight around the name so that's how you know if it's really me or not okay that's on youtube all right so i'm sending you guys lots of love and light um again let's keep keep each other safe and good luck drop a comment if you know who i'm talking about here and if you don't stay high vibe this is a true love headed your way love and light take care